Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am so thrilled to finally be bringing you this video. I've been planning it for months. <laughs> I have been contemplating for quite some time what project I would like to do for my eyeshadows now that my one week one palette series is at an end. I did ask in a video last year your guys' opinions on what you would like to see and everyone was very helpful. Thank you guys so much for helping me out <laughs> with my decision making on this process because just like everybody else, my favorite eyeshadow project to watch is pan those eyeshadows but I'm just not ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready for that project. For me, at this point in my life right now, I just don't think I can do that project successfully. However, I do think I can do the project called Pan in Every Palette. So this is a project started by Lady Pans a lot on Instagram, who of course I will link down below. And of course the premise of the project is exactly like it sounds. You're just trying to hit pan in every palette that you have. And I really like this idea. I feel like while I'm attempting to hit pan on the, you know, the eyeshadow I'm focusing on, I'll probably be using other shades in the palette. And I feel like this is a really good way to continue to get use out of all my palettes instead of just focusing on random shades here and there. But now comes the hard part and that's deciding where to start. So this is what I think I'm gonna do. Here I have my five oldest palettes. I will show them to you real quick and then I'm gonna randomly generate which one I will start with with this project. So I think this one's my oldest palette. This is from Cargo Cosmetics. This is the Tokyo and Bloom eyeshadow palette. It is a mostly cool tone, you know, purpley pink palette. <laughs> I feel like it's a really nice everyday palette. It's a color scheme I'm comfortable with. It would be easy to use. And I believe my next oldest palette is the Subculture palette, which I used to be more intim intimidated by this palette. I feel like I still am to some degree, especially with some of these shades over here. But I have found that I really like using this palette. I've made some looks with it finally <laughs> that I am happy with. And so I do feel like were I to roll this one in, I would be able to pick a shade to work on. So that one's in the running. Next, I'm slightly annoyed with myself. I have these marked down in my spreadsheet as 2019 palettes. I got them in 2019, but I didn't put them in the order in which I got them. So I think, I think the next one I got was this one. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette in the, this is the Bling Boss one. And this one I find surprisingly really fun to use. I say surprisingly just because I'm not really into like the red shades and I don't really tend to reach for really dark plum shades, but I really, really love this purple shade with like golden flecks in it here called Ballsy. And this matte, it's called Hush Hush, is one of my favorite mattes in my entire stash. It's like the perfect tone for a crease shade. So anyway, that one. Also my Master Palette by Mario. I bought off Poshmark in 2019, so I don't even really know, whoops. So I don't even really know exactly how old it is. In comparison to all the other ones, this actually might be the oldest, but the formula is still really good. And then lastly, my e.l.f. New Classics palette. This one would have a lot of options in it for really nice everyday looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use random.org and I'm going to randomize one through five. All right, here I go. And we get number two, which is the subculture palette. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I have to try and decide which shade I'm going to focus on. There are a lot of shades in here that I like. I really like Roxy as an all over the shade, even like even the lower lash line blended out single shadow look, really, really pretty. I like New Wave. I really like Edge as a single shadow look. Adorn is really beautiful. Electric, even though I really like, I wear a lot of shimmer a lot of times, this actually is a bit too intense for me for an everyday shimmer. It's a beautiful shade, but I don't really want to focus on that one, I don't think. So then I think I'm, maybe Cube would be a good idea. That is a beautiful inner corner shade. And actually, I feel like it might go nicely with some of the shadows that I'm working on in my Dude, You Pan My Battleship single eyeshadow panning project. So Cube is definitely in the running for that. And then of course, probably the easiest one to focus on would be maybe Dawn, since that's such, you know, it's a nice transition shade. So I will have to see, you know, how it goes as I use this, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be focusing it on Cube. So exciting, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm finally doing it. And I'm really excited that the first one gets to be my subculture palette, that is great. So I'm gonna try to make updates to this project every month, even if I haven't hit pan, I'll try and do an update just to show you how it's been going, talk about how many uses I've gotten in the palette, I don't know if I'll show you looks. I'm really bad at taking selfies. <laughs> I'll try my best. If there's one that I think looks particularly nice, maybe I, I will. But thank you guys so much for watching today. Once again, I hope you have a great day, guys. I will see you soon in my next video.
Bye.